this is it guys this is pretty much everything that you get so you've got your rear bash bar and it has brackets right here that mount to the chassis mount right there or stabilizer bracket whatever like the x bracket so that's the x bracket right there and then from there you got your big carbon fiber wang this thing is huge like literally like here's my hand and here's that wing look at that <laughs> this thing is massive and here are these like little winglets so there's two and they go on the corners right there and right there and here's all the hardware provided Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle this and hopefully it goes well because like I said um, They say I have to weld this to the chassis um, So let's see how that goes first thing we got to do is pretty much get access to uh, The rear so we're gonna have to go ahead and remove the rear bumper So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my trunk because we got to get access to this got to go ahead and take off the tail lights and then there's like a couple bolts right here, like inside here. So we gotta move out this trims because there's like four bolts holding the bumper right there. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am bagged. So if you didn't know, then I can know. <laughs> if you're interested, I do have a whole install video of this bad boy. Um, so if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, uh, go ahead. missing those since I forgot to install them and I've been too lazy to install them but now since I have my ruben broth it is the perfect time to install them I got these nice little clear um, signal lights and they pretty much just go right here and then a nice little clear light nice installed can't wait to see it how it looks with the lights on because I haven't seen it with lights on in a very long time especially painted. So we got the rear bumper off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off this rear uh, support beam or crash bar. take off those little um, beam the um, crash bar brackets bash bar that I'm installing and right here this is where the those mounts came off of so right here these two little studs I think that's where these holes line up that way you can kind of get like an idea on where to weld it but this one is stripped and this one broke so I have to see what I come up with that way to hold it down since one of my studs broke but I was able to kind of force a nut on this one that's the ones I was stripped, but I was able to line this up and get a jack and kind of just line this up where I want. So now I'm pretty much 
ready to weld it, but I mean, I think I'm just gonna tack weld it, just in case I don't like it, just grind it off, because I, I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. So, I mean, we'll see. All right, guys, I pretty much have it all set up and ready to go and get welded. I'm a little nervous, but, because it's kind of not going back after this, but hey, send it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna tack weld it for now and mock it up and see how I like it. bash bar tacked it on and I and I got this cross thing on and it's looking pretty cool I mean <laughs> I still don't know if I'm gonna like it or not but hopefully it looks good I still don't kind of understand how I get to open my trunk and how am I gonna be able to put a rear bumper on but I'll try to get it figured right, out guys, so I kind of got like an idea of where to cut. Uh, I don't know how precise is this kind of eyeballed it, but hopefully it comes out good. I mean, either not, this bumper's kind of trash, so it's all good. But fingers crossed. So I cut my slots, they're not the best, um, but I will fix them later. I will uh, patch them up somehow. I just cut a little too much in the bottom, but. It's looking pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tail lights back on and try to mock it up some more. So I have the base pretty much mocked up. Now all I gotta do is put the carbon fiber wing basically. guys so the last clip that I recorded that day that I did install this wing was me pretty much putting on this uh, carbon fiber piece after that my brother-in-law came and it was actually like 5 in the morning I actually stayed up all night putting this thing on and because there was a car show that that next day so I pretty much just stayed up all night just to put this on and uh yeah it was crazy and i was super tired i was out of it so i did not record pretty much anything else because i was just out and um the next day i didn't even go to sleep till like six in the afternoon so which was just crazy i can't believe i just stood up all night installing this but yeah i think um I don't know if I showed myself putting these um, these little winglets on, but uh, they come with like special special hardware. So you're gonna need like a, a T30, but with that T30, you're gonna need one that has like a little hole in the middle. That way you could go into here. I'll show you what it looks like. I have it right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let me see. So right there, that's what I mean. Little Torx, it's a T30 with like a little hole in the middle. That way uh, it could fit right in and that's pretty much how you tighten these down. I believe over here as well. Yeah, these two, but these ones are a little smaller. It's probably like a T15 or, I think that's a hex. I think that's a hex, Never mind. Oh, but that one, it came with special tools. So these special, Allen keys came with these special Allen keys, so yeah, these have little holes too. That way, they just slip right on there. Also, came with this other special tool. This came with uh, the wing, it's for the bottom bolts. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole situation that went on. Um, so, I haven't really been recording at all, I've been pretty out of it. Uh, 
That last clip was like a month ago. Like I said, I stayed up all night to install this for a car show. And I did record that car show. If you guys are interested in watching it, uh, I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of digging it. It's pretty cool. It's very different. Um, I'm pretty much the first guy where the yeah, the first guy with the Lexus IS render to have this wing. There's a lot of people out there that already have this wing, but I'm kind of the first one for the IS 300, pretty much. From the, at least from what the street fraction engineering told me. But yeah, I'm digging it, pretty much. The only thing um, that I don't really get, so I don't know if I did this wrong, or I don't know if that's how it is. So I'm supposed to have, um, so right here there's a bolt you loosen so you can pivot this. So you could, you're able to loosen those bolts and pivot this all the way down. That way you could access your trunk and everything. But for mine, um, the bolts are still inside of the bumper. So pretty much I would have to go from the bottom to loosen them and pivot it. That way I could get access to my trunk. Um, so I don't know. I know on other cars, um, they stick out, but this specific, for the Lexus Ice Trunk is very specific. It's a weld on to chassis, so I don't know if that, that has anything to do with it, but I know with other cars, um, they're able, the bolts are exposed over here, so you're able to loosen them and pivot the whole wing, that way you could get access to the trunk and everything. But I don't know, but, but I mean, um, this is what I got pretty much and I'm pretty I'm digging it I like it only thing I gotta do is fix my cuts because they are not the best honestly it's not that bad for kind of winging it but I kind of overdid it a little right here and a little right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do some bondo work when I get some time that way it won't look so ugly and then have my boy paint it again but yeah I mean for just eyeballing it, you know, not too bad. Also, that same that same day, I went to that um, that meet. I did break my lip, so over here it did break. Right here broke. I hit. Uh, I went over a speed bump, and I don't know. It just broke somehow. Um, so I had to kind of put on some hardware so it could hold on. It's kind of ghetto, but it works for now. And these rear lips are back ordered like for a month so I can't even get one right now. But yeah, so far this is the big wang I got for my IS300 and I am digging it. I think it's pretty cool. It's very different. It's definitely not for everyone but hey, I wanted to give it a shot and try it out and just stick out a little, a little more, you know. Uh, I will get better shots of it when I'm outside and everything. Right now it's dark so didn't want to bother taking it out, but I'll get some better shots. Nice little cinematic shots and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Definitely um, a time consuming um, install because you kind of want to get things right. I mean, I didn't get things right, but I tried. Well, I mean, I 50-50, you know, I just kind of winged it. But hey, it didn't come out that bad. I just got to fix it. I mean, either way, this bumper is trash. I mean, as you've seen, but hey, I am digging it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of digging it. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, well, the wing is on and I'm kind of digging it. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I, it's growing on to me. It's growing on to me for sure. But yeah, I mean, that's what I got for you guys so far. It's a very, very different from uh, what is my first time doing something like this and yeah i mean wasn't too bad very time consuming though but i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video as you can see here i got some trd side skirts that i'm going to install and i'll catch you guys on the next one if you stick around thank you so much for watching and stay progressing